Well, good Sunday afternoon to everyone. Here is the President Walker 2. This is a FCC Part 95 CB radio compliant. And this is going to a customer tomorrow out in Idaho. Since I had it on the bench, I just wanted to show it off really quick. I've done a video on these before, so um, there's another one on the channel. You might have to scroll down, look in the video section, scroll down for a bit. It's been a little while since I had one of these, but I just want to make a quick video of it. just wanted to show you guys how stable these are on frequency out of the box. So... Of course, I'm using a discipline oscillator right here. So we're getting a signal off of the satellite, which is feeding the time base of this freak counter. So it's super accurate. I could actually go one more digit, but the radio, you know, the power output of the radio with the four watts doesn't really trigger the internal trigger of this counter too well. So sometimes I'll get it and sometimes I won't. But for the sake of the video, I mean, it's going to be like one digit next, which is going to fluctuate some anyway. So you, we can see it's, you know, it's moving around a little bit, but I mean, it's, it's right there. So really good on frequency radio. The receive is really good on it. Uh, we can look at the transmit power really quick here since we have it. I put it in the blue setting only because it shows up on the camera the best. So we're just using our president mic. We got a 25 watt element in there. We're in PEP. About 4 watts. Hello, radio. Check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Check, check, check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's not like a big powerhouse radio, but you know, we're doing 15 watts or so. And, uh, you know, they sound really good on the air. Really clean and clear. Really good understandability coming out of these things you're not going to sound distorted and over modulated and you guys know what i mean you hear tons of radios out there like that you have to say what did you say what did you say you turn your mod down you're too loud radio like this you're going to get heard the first time people are going to understand what you're saying this is built for communication not for like super loud overbearing modulation so keep that in mind these are really good for like truck drivers and stuff. You get no weather. Um, let me let me uh, hook up an antenna really quick to it. Okay, I put an antenna on it. Got our squelch up. Got an A and L and a high cut noise banker A and L and high cut. Here's our weather. I think there's a weather alert somewhere. Maybe you have to. Yeah, you have to hold the button. Yeah, so if you were driving down the road and you're just listening to your CB radio and there was a no weather emergency alert, it would cut off CB and go right to that alert. So, I mean, that's a, that's a nice feature to have because you never know. You could be in a strange area, truck driver or something. You don't exactly know what the weather's going to be like. The waves were one foot. And it would go right to it. Well, we're picking up signals that are not my local weather channel either, so... This is my local right here. So I'm going to turn that weather alert off. Of course, that beep can be turned off. I need to go to my uh, vertical antenna. Just one second. Okay. I had to go to the right antenna. So it's kind of quiet here right now. And we're, we have a channel scan on right now, which is simply just... Put your auto squelch on or adjust the squelch to a level you find that you may need to block out noise. And you just simply hold the up, up button on the microphone until you see that little decimal point start blinking. And then it will just simply just go into a channel scan and stop when there's activity. So that could be useful too if you're just driving down the road. 
and you don't really know where there's going to be people talking or you just want to hear people and you can just set it to scan so that's a nice feature um, there's a lot of other radios president makes that has scan also so it's just a nice feature that you don't really know it has because it doesn't say it on the front of the radio anywhere but it's in the manual that's why i always tell customers when you buy one of these president radios they, they make these really nice manuals go ahead and, and just look through them and there's certain features you may not know the radio even has that you'll find out in the manual so it's just nice to reference that um the radio has rf power from the factory so i believe it was like a watt and a half all the way down and then maybe um, i adjusted this one to four because out of the box it was like 3.5 so i made it four and then i simply adjusted the modulation level up just a little bit out of the box it's a little low which is normal it's a pretty simple thing to do you don't even have to open the cover or anything it's all through the front menu it's going to a service menu it's pretty easy to just use my oscilloscope and put a tone in and simply adjust it up and uh, it comes out pretty good so it uh it has a nice SWR feature for someone that's trying to set up an antenna on their truck or their vehicle or something. You just simply just go to the menu, SWR, hit the button. And that's our SWR on our outside antenna. It's it's good, like it should be. So if you had a high, high SWR, that would be beeping like super slow. Beep, beep, beep. And you could hear that outside of your vehicle. You could adjust your volume control up and you'll hear that coming through the speaker on the CB or if you had an external speaker, you would hear it. And as you make changes to the whip length or whether you have a adjustable tuning tip on like a fire stick or some kind of antenna like that, you could simply make your adjustment and listen to the sound coming out of the CB speaker. And if the tone got slower, you know that you went the wrong way. If it got faster, beep, 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 beep then you know you're getting closer to being good and the closer you get to that solid beep just that steady tone you know you're you're getting better the goal is to get it to that steady tone some antennas may not allow you to get it perfectly to that but as long as you're like a 1.5 to 1 on channel 1 20 and 40 you're pretty much good if you can get it lower great if you can't it's not that big of a deal and the antennas will you know You'll still get out fine. You won't have to risk damaging the radio or anything. Anything over a 1.5, I would say, if you can't get it below a 1.5, probably something with the ground of the antenna or the certain length of coax cables with certain antennas on certain mounts don't perform properly. So there's a lot of variables when it comes to mobile antennas. But for the most part, most antennas, if they have a long enough whip, and we're talking like a base-loaded antenna, you can usually get it pretty low below that 1.5 level so just keep that in mind it's a nice feature you don't have to keep going in and out of the truck or the vehicle and have an external meter hooked up key the radio calibrate check even if you have an expensive antenna analyzer you still got to go and look at it every time you make an adjustment so i i say an antenna analyzer is best for a more experienced user you know, someone that really wants the best out of the best on their antenna, yeah, that's going to work really good for you. But someone that doesn't want to spend the extra couple hundred bucks on an antenna analyzer, this is a nice feature they build right into the radio. It kind of tells you what's going on with sound. So as long as you can hear and you can understand what the radio is telling you, you're going to get your antennas tuned as best as you possibly can with that sound. So that, that's a really nice feature in my opinion. Um, the radio is fairly small. Um, I can tell you guys the dimensions because I know I've made other videos and I've tried to show different comparisons. And somebody commented, well, you didn't tell me how big it was by by putting the uh, something up to it didn't help me. So the radio is, let's see here. 6.692 inches wide by 6.299 inches deep by 2.04 in inches high so it's not really that big I, mean, I can stick my hand it's just a normal hand if i spread it out i can almost touch the whole radio so here's a computer mouse this would be like a full size you know it's not really a great comparison but 
it's not a very big radio. It packs a lot of features. You have a sticker that tells you how to hook it up and how not to, basically. And if you guys are aware, it has a plus and minus there. So it's basically the same chassis as the President Richard, just in a part compliant radio. Because you see that FCC ID right there that tells you this is a part 95 compliant radio. So if you look at some of your 10 meter radios, they're not part 95, they're supposed to fall, I believe, under part 97. I'd have to double check that, I'm not an expert, but any uh, regular 40 channel CV radio will have an FCC ID on it. I'd assume eventually you'll start seeing these with AM, FM, so I'm not sure where they would incorporate it on this radio. Possibly they could get rid of the Vox and put a mode switch there. They're going to have to do something if they make this an AM FM because right now it's just AM so there's no need for a mode switch but I would assume eventually they're going to do something. The Richard I think the mode switch is here but that's a 10 meter so but I believe it's here because you don't have WX but personally I like weather. I like to know what's going on. Stay prepared, stay alert. The weather really helps you. Yeah you have cell phones and stuff but I mean, this gives you an instantaneous, right there, you're driving down the road, they put out a broadcast, this is going to pick it up if the alert's on. If it's not, then of course you'd have to switch over anyways, but, but that's my thought on the President uh, Walker 273.